Welcome to our tutorial about improvements to the Appearances tool in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Now SOLIDWORKS gives you a number of new materials like liquids, plastics, organic materials, and so on. There's also some other enhancements that we'll talk about. Let's begin by going to the Materials Library. Appearances. Plastic. High Gloss. And let's grab the green high gloss plastic and drop it right onto my face. Now the appearance target palette has a pin down button. The face option is selected, so let's drop a few more materials on the faces of my part. We're now able to copy the appearances as well. Right click and paste it. Another new option is the Appearance Filter. How it works is like this. When the Appearance Filter is active, and I want to replace, let's say, the green high-gloss plastic with red, all instances of the green are going to be replaced. We can also copy and paste from the PhotoWorks 360 drop-down menu. Let's go to Add-ins. Select PhotoWorks. And click OK. Click on PhotoView 360 in the main menu. Here are the copy and paste appearance options. To remove appearances, just right click on the entity and from the appearances submenu, choose the red X. You can also go to the Display Manager tab, select the appearance you want to delete, and press the Delete key. Another new option we've got is rounding sharp edges. Let's right click, Modify, Appearances submenu. Let's select Body. Now on the Property Manager, we'll go to the Advanced tab, Illumination. Let's scroll down to the option to round sharp edges. Here we'll enter the fillet radius value. And let's click OK. This is just a cosmetic feature. It doesn't affect the source geometry. In order to view the effect, we need to render our model, or we need to open the preview window. SOLIDWORKS gives us a suggestion. Let's click OK. And here's the model with rounded edges. Let's close the preview window. Another new feature is that we can scale textures, surface finishes, and decals to match the model size automatically. Or we can use the default scale. Let's go to Tools on the main menu strip. Scroll down to Options. Let's go to the Document Properties tab and the Model Display branch. Here's the option to automatically scale appearance textures, surface finishes, and decals to the model size. Let's cancel out of this window for now. And let's go to my second example. Here I've used a plastic pattern. Blue dimpled plastic. In order to see the pattern applied, I need to render or use the preview window. The preview window opens and shows us what our models look like. The scaling of the pattern has been applied to these three instances of the cube. Here's the default scale. And this concludes our tutorial about enhancements to working with appearances in SOLIDWORKS 2013.